let me, what are the <coughs> key performance indicators that you look at regarding your business? I don't know, every day, every week, every month, what do you look at? Yeah, so that's a little bit what I say, that's why I told you, you can, you can, you have to find the good people, you need to trust them, but it's, what's also very important is that you have like measuring, okay. uh, the key yeah. APIs, yeah. Yeah. because you also know not everybody is the same every day. Okay. Uh, if you do an accident that day, you will know, you know it will not be that's the same for that day, okay. maybe the same for that week. If your girlfriend leaves you or somebody dies in your family, then that person will be affected of it and it will also maybe affect your company. Okay. So, and if you not always see the people, you will not see it. So, very important thing is also that you measure things so that you know that everybody goes smooth it like you want it. But maybe there are some things that you know, okay, they are a little bit low, you have to do something about it. And then, what, what do you measure? What do you measure? There are the three things that I told you. Turnover. Yes, turnover and profit. Profit uh, and uh, satisfaction, happiness. Happiness. You only and have the service three. and quality. And service and quality. Yeah. And that I measure and that we, we measure every day. Yes. And everybody know its KPIs for the day. Everybody okay. in the company for its position, he knows the, the KPIs he needs to reach. And then every week we do with management, we do a survey okay. on the weekly statistics to see did we reach our goal or not. And we also put goals for the year and then we make a timeline with a, like a diagram. Okay. And then you know if you keep every week on your timeline, you know you will reach it. Okay. And you know in the, in the beginning it will be a little more that and then to the end you have to reach your, your goal. Yeah. But you know you have to adapt every week a little bit to get it where you want it. It's not setting a goal in the beginning of the year and then think yeah, we will make it. You no, know, it's working every week and adapting every week and then you will make your goal that you set. Good. Very good. Uh, how, how do you train and evaluate the, the team members that, that work? How do we train them? Here we have a quality system. Yeah. And training is in our quality system. Okay. <coughs> so we have procedures, how do you have to do it? We have like an uh, academy, as the academy, it's an online tool okay. where we put in movies and uh, questioning and uh, text and uh, photos and uh, a combination of all those things. Okay. And that is to give people uh, uh, more mass so that they understand what, what are they talking about. Okay. Very important is that they know all the words what you're talking about. So something that you learn from uh, the courses is a misunderstood words can uh, have uh, the result of a misunderstood word is that somebody cannot teach it. That's mostly the only thing why people cannot learn something. So if you know that, you have to make a good pronunciation of all the words that you need for the company. And first, you have to understand all those words before you go further with the course. So that's also an important thing. And that's how we teach people and train people to do what you have to do. How do you? How do you? keep the people from the team motivated? Um, first, it's selection of good people. And good, okay. people, good people are mostly motivated. Because they, this is how they are. Yeah, because they are good in life. And uh, if you come in a company where every person, every person of the team knows what the goal is and everybody is working for the same goal and you check every week, did we good or did we not good, what do you have to adapt or are we going good? Yeah, then you keep like a, a kind of enthusiast creation because everybody wants to know oh, did we good, did we good, good or not. And then uh, what we do also add is something like, okay, if we reach the goal, yeah, we also set two goals. The normal goal we have to reach and then like an uh, advantage goal, like a super plus goal. Yeah? And, and then we always say if we reach that goal, then we will do something with the company. We'll do that with the company. But if we reach that goal, then, for example, we will go with the whole company to Ibiza and we will have a whole week like vacation paid by the company. Oh, very nice idea. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's also that like a motivation for everybody. You have the normal goal that perhaps people should do because they feel enthusiastic to do it, but it's quite like reachable. Yeah. And one super very high goal yeah, high. In, in which if you do it, 
there is a reward, but not not just money. It's a, a it's more interesting reward. Something to do together. Like a, like a team a, building, but a, a nice team. A very nice team building. Yes. Yeah. That's good. Idea. That's good for the for the company. That's good for the people. And that's that they receive a present to reach it, but you're also building to the team again. Very good. Because you do, do something together. What are the best promotion channels that work for your company to uh, to help you sell your product? Yeah, I think first it's always important that you have uh, hard sales, that you have a sales team that do hard sales, like calling. Yeah, yeah, calling. Okay. And uh, try to find people, try to get uh, an appointment mm -hmm. to sell the team so that your name is already a little bit known, mm -hmm. that you can grow and that you know we can deliver the service, we can adapt everything, and the service is good. And if everything, your machine is perfect in order, then you say, okay, now we can do also marketing. And then we can uh, go on channels like Facebook, like uh, LinkedIn, like uh, YouTube, like um, Instagram. And also make their campaigns that give extra leads, and then it's very important that every leads is uh, yeah, gets sold and gets adapted. Okay, and the treasure also what you do. It's not only putting money on campaigns and yeah, uh, you see that it's coming, <laughs> but we measure everything, every campaign that we do. We have like a completely overview. We have like a dashboard that gives us a Facebook campaign did like this, uh, Instagram did like that, Google AdWords did like this, uh, YouTube did like that, so that we know that we have a total review of what did the best. So you have uh, this dashboard for your company that you built, in which you put yeah. the results from every channel of promoting. Yeah. So you see uh, which is best, uh, which yeah. doesn't work too well, so you can... Uh, you can regulate your money. Yeah, you yeah. can say we're going to put a little bit more money on Facebook, because Facebook has a lot more result on that campaign. Mm -hmm. You put more money there. Yeah. You uh, put less money where it doesn't give results. Yeah. Or you change. Or you change the yeah, campaign. Yeah. 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 Very nice. What is the what do you cons what do you consider to be the biggest strength of your company? Uh, the okay. biggest strength. Um, what I'm very proud of is that, proud, we, have, yeah. that we are proud because we have a team. Okay. We have a team where everybody is happy and everybody likes to work with us. It's something I say to new people who's coming in. I say, look, I can put here a plate with all the names of the company, 120 names on papers, yes. and you can take any name you want. I give you the number and you can call him. And you can ask him yourself if he likes the company or not. And because I'm sure he will, good, he will give a good result because I'm sure he's happy, I can do that. I think there are not a lot of companies who can do that. Yeah, for sure. You can yeah. call every person of the company to ask, are you happy in this company? And that is team effort. If you have a happy people, you can make amazing things. And then other things, the systems. We have great systems. We have uh, this is because of you. great solutions for clients. The systems are because of you. Yeah, it's, it's also a team effort because the ideas are coming from the people who work with us, the ideas are coming from the clients, the ideas are coming from everybody in the company. Mm -hmm. So you have to listen to also the sellers, to, to, to clients, when, when my partner goes to a client, he always listens very good, and the client says, this is a problem we see, this is a problem we see, and he just notices it, and completely, can you, can you find solutions for that and that, that? okay, I build it. And we build solutions and say, the next time we go, oh, but we have a solution for that. And we have a solution for that, so that all the problems are solved. So we solve the problems of the client and then they just stay, they just say we want that company because with that company everything is solved. And that's a team effort because I can make the solution, but if nobody tells me the reality of the clients, I will not, I will not know it. Exactly. So it's a team effort. It's working together. So Levi, it was a great interview. Thank you. Thank you so much, <laughs> almost two, two <laughs> hours, <laughs> <laughs> three hours, <laughs> but I think every minute of what you said here was super mega useful okay. for somebody who does it, for example, for me, who I'm, uh, I'm doing a business, I'm in the startup phase, or perhaps even more, it helped me a lot, what you said, helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that it will also help many other people. 